Hey everybody, Gary Heydrich here. Here's hoping you had yourself a nice weekend the past few days, a few days ago. Here it is midweek, a front coming in. It's going to get cooler. Looks like this upcoming weekend is just going to be gorgeous. And the long range forecast looks like a lot of temperatures in the mid 60s to 70, 72, 74. Fall is here now folks, that's for sure. One thing about this, it's going to drop that water temperature and these fish are going to get more active. Uh, I'm still saying early in the morning, get out and do the pop R type baits, especially if there's no wind. I like these pop R's, they're subtle, pitch them up on the points, work them back slow. Also the fish, some fish bass are being caught about halfway back into the pockets in the, some of the creek areas, but you just have to keep moving, that's all about. And so pop R's early in the morning, Back in the James, they're still picking up some fish on buzz baits, especially around the laydowns. Don't overlook this. But my overall top bait would be spinner baits. Uh, spinner baits, you can cover a lot of territory, and uh, they've been pretty productive. Pitch them out, kind of slow to medium retrieve, pick up that retrieve around uh, maybe some laydowns, let it drop a little bit. Uh, but medium, to ret medium retrieve seems to be working for me anyway. So spinner baits been pretty good throughout the lake at Table Rock. The square bill crankbaits are getting more effective right now, so don't overlook that. So Table Rock has some huge white bass, and uh, got into them the other day up the James River. What I like to do this time of the year for the white bass is get off the main river channel and get on the deep water flats from maybe 20, 30 feet of water look for some uh, shad, and there's a couple baits that you can get into these white bass and pick up largemouth or uh, bass as well. Spoons, white spoons can work good and I love to grub. I love to grub fish and so you may want to try this if you're out there this weekend nothing else is working go to the deep water flats spoons and grubs you might pick yourself up some nice white bass and and bass. In fact my largest white bass in my life I've caught it in the James River arm a little over four pounds that's a big big white bass. In fact I think the state record, I'm sure the state record white bass come out of the James River area. A little over five, was it? Wow, unbelievable. Up around the uh, Cape Fair area, the crappie are still being caught. Uh, go to the deep water brush piles. They come up a little bit, maybe go to 15 to 18 feet of water and uh, use your jig. Uh, it seems like chartreuse 16th ounce is working. If you're not good with that jig, tip it with a minnow and get right over those brush piles. And you may have to go brush pile hopping from one brush pile to the other to catch a mess, but I think you could do it this upcoming weekend. And I've had some reports off the bluffs too. I like to pitch that jig out, a 16th ounce chartreuse, let it sink, watch that jig, and hey, I tell you what, you might pick up a few crop with that. Okay, let's go over to Lake Tanny Como. I tell you what, not bad fishing taking place out there. Over the weekend, they didn't run much water at all. It was real quiet. And so what they've been doing is taking these little like a 64th ounce jig or smaller and tipping it, tipping it with these little Berkeley trout worms. The pink has been the best overall. And they'll use a float up above this bait, maybe four or five feet of water, especially when there's no current, pitching that out and watching that float. And there were some real nice fish caught over the past weekend. Look at this, you know, Chris Nelson got a great guide service called Tandem Fly Outfitters. He had this young lady out the other morning early. She had her mittens on, cute as a bug. She caught this nice rainbow trout. That's a nice trout, young lady. So uh, you can catch fish on a variety of baits, but these small jigs or midges under a float uh, has been a real good bet. Now they are starting to pick up uh, this midweek, running a little generation in the mid-afternoon hours. But boy, don't overlook this jig. Another thing I like to do with this jig on Lake Tanicomo is just pitch it. I've got one rig with two pound test. I'll flip it out there and watch that thing fall slowly and I've got a lot of nice trout by using this as well. So either with the float or if you're a good jig fisherman just pitch it out, let it fall. It takes forever. But you see that little line move a little bit. You can't get some nice trout using this as well. One other report, bass fishing on Lake Tanicomo. Well, you don't hear a lot about it but believe me folks there's some big bass in Tanicomo with that lower end. Still had reports the last few days, people, not very many, people going out and fishing those moss beds and just fishing a floating worm or just a real slow, uh, like a grape or a dark colored plastic worm, letting it flutter slow down along the edges of these uh, moss beds. 
you can catch yourself some bass. Yeah. Excuse me, Bull Shoals Lake, uh, it's just like Table Rock. The bass are not bunched up by any means, but they're moving, and the best baits have been the spinner baits, slow rolling, medium retrieve. Also, they've been picking up some fish on uh, some bass on, like I said, spinner baits, square bill crank baits early in the morning, buzz baits, whoppers, and pop R's early in the morning. And the bluff ends, picking up some fish by midday area with the football jigs with your favorite trailer, just working that football jig off the uh, bluff end points. That may be a good bet. Crappie, yeah, so-so. Picking up some crappie, but uh, just brush pile hopping. No big amount are being caught, but you, the ones you're catching at Bull Shoals are really nice by getting those brush piles. Jig, jig and minnow combination. Still, we're getting reports of some nice walleye being caught out at Bull Shoals. And the best bait, I would say, with the flicker minnow, the chartreuse has been working. This is number 11. We'll get down around 18 to 20 feet of water, depending on the test pound test you're using. But they're getting in the deep water flats. And you may have to work at it, you may work at it, but boy, I tell you what, when you do catch one, you have a chance of catching a nice one. There's some small throwbackers being caught as well, but I would recommend this uh, Flicker Minnow Berkeley and go to the number 11. Just slow troll it down those uh, flat areas. Well, over and all, pretty good fishing. Uh, uh, I, 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 it's just going to get better. We're going to have a great upcoming weekend. We want to thank you for viewing. And uh, thanks a lot, and tell your friends about it, because uh, we've had over a thousand viewers already in our young program. We're just starting, and we really appreciate it. And so, subscribe. Go to YouTube.com and search Fish in Chums. Happy outdoors, everyone. See you out on the water.